Miles, how are you, no, my friend? Have a seat. Good to see right. you. Mind if we borrow you here? Okay, we just uh, okay. finished that thought. You want to take your shirt off so we can see your new body? That's a good intro. Good intro. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk. Uh, we just had Demontis on, and um, I think late at the end of the off season, you had him down with with you. It looked like, and I'm just curious about your guys' relationship because I I think that that might be kind of rare to have two guys in your position want to do that. Yeah. Um, well, me and Domas, like ever since you know, we got here, we kind of clicked. Like, we have a great relationship, great relationship off the floor, and I think he's going to grow even more on the floor. You know, give him the opportunity to play with more with each other and. Uh, when he came down to Dallas, it's kind of showed him how, how we work down there. Just kind of showed him around and whatnot, and uh, get him more and more acclimated with each other. You know, he said something that I thought was really interesting. He talked about changing his diet and trying to lose some body fat so he would be quicker and better equipped, perhaps, to guard fours. So, do you see when you play together that you'll be guarding the five and still staying around the rim while he'll take the four? See, it's just I, th- I feel like it's very interchangeable, and it's all going to be matchup driven. I mean, if there's guys that you know, quick guys that I need to guard out there, maybe long guys, and I can see myself guarding out there in the perimeter as well, and him being out there rebounding like he does, or you know, vice versa. You know, he'll be moving around with guards out there, and I'll be able to block shots, and he can switch. I mean, there's a whole lot of stuff we can do. How much, if at all, was watching what Victor did last off season and his jump a factor in you clearly wanting to take it up another level? Uh, well, seeing the way Vic came in and worked, and just seeing the uh, the progress he had with it, and just how and just like how it came easy to him, you know, it was definitely inspiring. But you know, it wasn't necessarily anybody who influenced off season work. It was all me. I just wanted to get started with it. You know, the diet was a huge part of it as well, just starting to eat better and not eat as you know as bad as I was in you know, my first couple of years in the league. How bad were you eating? What were you eating? Oh, I could say I was eating pretty bad. You know, like days for games, I would get like like wing stop or like you know pizza and all kinds of crap like that. But it just never really affected me. Like last year is when it really started affecting me. You know, my first and second year, I can eat whatever I want and you know still be good the next day. But last year, I started to feel a little bit slower and like you know just you know. That's amazing bit. to me because you're still a young guy. Yeah. You, you wouldn't <laughs> think that your metabolism would be impacted yeah, so dramatically. See, I didn't think it would either, but just the way. I felt this summer and the way as opposed to the way I felt last season I mean it's just like um, it's night like night and day so was that your primary area of change as you went about preparing for another season just the diet the nutrition and so on well it was a lot of things diet was was a big part of it but just my mentality just uh, um, the way I approached the game you know the way I studied the game you know a lot of things changed as you go through this transition this off season, specifically on the floor, what parts of your game do you think will benefit the most, or do you hope will benefit the most from this change? Um, just being able to move. I'm moving so much quicker, mm-hmm. I think, personally. And just being able to move quicker on defense and be able to be that uh, guy that wreaks havoc, uh, wreaks havoc down here. You know? What do you expect from your team? I'm expecting us to make uh, more of a jump, you know, than you know. I feel like a lot of people are calling last year, you know, like a fluke. You know, what's supposed to happen? It was just, you know, one in chance. But I was about to take a major leap this year. You know, I feel we had, we definitely had the bench that's going to have to do it. And I'm looking to make a run in this playoffs. The Eastern Conference right now is competitive. You know, everybody has the same goal in mind right now. But I, um, I'm very high on our team. Good to see LeBron on the other side of the street. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you always want to play the best competition, but you know, but not till the of, final. Yeah, but at the same time, <laughs> and, you know, it's kind of a I'm gonna get that beast out the east like that. You know, you mentioned your ability to move better. Um, in terms of a rim protector on the defensive side of the ball, clearly shot blocking is a skill that has transferred from college into the NBA. You've been near the top of the charts since you've been in the league. As it becomes full picture, though, rim protection, more than just blocks, clearly. Do you feel like your changes will help in that, and, and what does it take to take even another step forward on the defensive end? Well, blocking is really just timing. I don't really think there's a lot of ways you can work on blocking. Mm-hmm. It's like either you have it or you don't, but as far as just moving around the defensive perimeter, that's something you can kind of learn to get more adept to just by experience, by doing it. You know, I got a chance to guard more fours last year, and it wasn't my strongest area, and that's what I feel like I've gotten stronger in that area, and I want to keep on uh, advancing with that this year. As you become more accustomed accomplished in that area and stay in the league now for a few seasons. Do you in any way sense that teams are less reluctant to attack the rim than they were when you first came in? Um, I mean, I'm sorry, more reluctant. More yeah. reluctant. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that's and that's definitely what, what I want the big picture to be. I want you know guys to fear going down there and going, in, going to that painted area because they got to know that you know, there's a presence down there. And that's the, you know, that presence me and me and that's the presence that I want to keep on growing on. 
All right, Miles, we appreciate your perspective. Welcome back, and best of luck here at training camp again. Oh, appreciate it, fellas. Good to see you. All righty, thank you.